Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here with Flowers More by Rhonda. Uh, today I want to share with you uh, my Gone Artsy Goodies for April. Um, I've been a little out of the loop. I had to have surgery, as some folks might know. Um, turned out to be a little more than what they thought, so I'm still kind of on the mend. And I'm going to be out of the loop probably for just a little while longer, but I'll be behind the scenes. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, I want everyone to keep a big smile on their face and just keep on crafting and happy spring to those that are starting to move towards spring. Um, I can tell that the derby fever is getting in the air here and where the good old Kentucky derbies ran. So we have that coming up. I'm looking forward to it. But in the meantime, let's get to these delicious, awesome yummy goodness uh, goodies here. Uh, Deb has tons of new products in the shop and um, she's added even more. So first I want to share with you is this deco foil. Now again I've been out of the loop for a little while on account of the surgery and things like that. So uh, I'm going to play with this. I just recently got a mink. Bought it from a dear good friend Alicia. And um, this comes with five sheets. This color is pumpkin and of course the lighting as always on camera throws the coloring off a little but she has this in several different colors and she also carries the foil glue so I think that's pretty awesome and uh, I will be demonstrating and playing to see and of course now if you use foil and the mink you have to make sure that you're printing on a laser printer. Don't have that, you can always upload to your local Staples or Office Depot, any place like that. So, uh, the next thing I'm going to share with you all is this fun stuff. Now, like I said, just bear with me here. Okay, this is a natural paper twist. This is like this is the natural, and it's a paper twist. Um, years ago, there was a craft store next door to our salon, because I'm a hairdresser by trade. And we had made some really fun things using this type of stuff. So I'm hoping to be able to refresh my memory on that. Because I'd love to show you all uh, what we did. And But you can also just use this as a cording if you want to. But this all untwists and unwinds. I'm not going to do that here now. Uh, but this is some pretty neat stuff. And she has this in various colors. So... Um, there's a lot of cool things you all can do with the, with this type of stuff. So be sure to YouTube, paper twist it, um, trim, ribbon, whatever they might call it. Uh, yeah, and play with this stuff because it's a lot of fun. Uh, next is this cool wooden spool that Deb carries in the shop. Now, I'm going to be honest with you folks. I did not realize that it was this big till after I received it. So I thought, wow, that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's about four inches long, solid wood, and I just thought that the size of it was fantabulous because there's so much you can do with this, and I mean, how cool. So yeah, I was thrilled. Okay, the next cool thing Deb has in the shop, now I don't use a lot of mediums as a lot of folks know, I'm just more into altering things, probably my most favorite thing to do. Uh, let me find it on my paper here. Okay, this is by Image Crafts. Uh, Image Crafts Creative Medium. This is an iridescent texture paste, and uh, you want to use this. This is a rose. No, no, it's not. It's just a pink. Now you can't see that on camera here, but it gives an iridescent color, almost like a mother of pearl, and it's great to use on darker colors. You know, just to add, uh, you know, different depth. Not so much a texture, but, you know, different looks. Uh, let me read about it here just a minute. It gives it a dimensional effect. That's what I was looking for, not texture. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with this stuff. So, fun, fun. And then here is one of my all-time favorites. This is an oldie but yet a goodie. This is the ostrich feather trim that Deb carries in the shop. And this one is the white. And she also has it in champagne. And I absolutely love this stuff. 
So I just love the way it flows and everything. I use them a lot in my wedding bouquets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next, if you have not played with the glitter glass that Deb carries in the shop, uh, this is a clear, I'm not a clear, a white clear. Good Lord, Rhonda. Actually, it's called Snow. Uh, this one is the Champagne, and this one is Fusion. Uh, these are really cool, and I call them a three-in-one because once you're done with these little bottles that they come in, and they are glass, you can save these little bottles, and you can either put teeny tiny little flatback pearls in them, uh, you can decorate them for other odd things. You can use them, of course, for other projects. And these little bottles are fantabulous to use uh, for Halloween projects, especially if you're making and creating shadow boxes. Uh, so I thought that was cool. And they come with a her little signature peacock emblem. It's a peacock charm that she adds on every jar. Uh, so then you have a charm to use, you know, for another project. So I call this a three-in-one. Uh, that's just me. Blue Fusion. I'm sorry, I said Fusion. It's Blue Fusion. And this is Champagne Blend. And I love champagne color. I just absolutely love it. Uh, and then, of course, this made me think of Christmas, you know. And uh, she has mounds of different colors. So, you can just set all these cute little bottles on a shelf, you know. And then, if you want to, you can refill them with, you know, other glitters. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, that's a three-in-one that I call. Uh, and that's that can be found in the shop. Okay, the next thing I want to share with you is this beautiful, small, little resin ivory rose vine. It's so pretty. I love resin pieces. So, this is one of about uh, six or seven new resin pieces that she has in the shop. Next up is this fun. Uh, Deb carries a few May Arts ribbons in her shop uh, that she collaborates with. And these are just uh, three of what I have to show you. Now, these two have the uh, wired edge. And this one is the natural. This almost puts me in a amount of a burlap which would be great for rustic projects and you can also get this in a red and white and that makes uh, some beautiful work on Christmas projects so and then this one is a rose and I love stripes so this was right up my alley and then this comes in this one is like a chartreuse color and this one comes in a couple different colors so you have the lace that runs down, and then you have the velvet ribbon that runs through the middle. So it's nice and soft. Okie donkeys. So be sure to check those out. Now the next thing I want to share with you lovely people is, let me get rid of this paper. Oh, yes, since I'm already on this page, okay. Deb has these fun self-adhesive embellishments now in the shop. And this one is the Smoke Fancy Crystal. It's kind of got a smoky color to it. And uh, she has them in smaller sizes than this that come in the double. Uh, she has a few different designs. And she has some that are pearl, clear crystal, and she even has some in the red gemstone color. So, yes. These are fun to use. You can cut them apart and use them. Very various pieces. You don't have to just use the whole piece. If you're not familiar with these, that is. So, but I really like these. They add a little texture in areas where you might need them. Okay, well, I think I'm done with this sheet. So we will move right on to our next piece here. Now, this one is an old favorite that's in the shop. It's a pearl and rhinestone embellishment. And then Deb also has some where they come with the gemstone in the center. And they, I believe she has a couple different colors. But the first time I ever seen these, the first thing I thought of was beautiful earrings for the mother of the bride. So, you know, you can get your backings and you can E6000 them on like so. And if you'll give me just a second. Now, Deb doesn't carry these. But... 
uh, Miriam at Miriam's Crafting Supply does. And I believe she has some nice things too on sale at the moment. And her and Deb sort of collaborate together. You get these fun little earring packs like this. And you can eat 6,000 that. All right, on the back there. And voila, you have a beautiful pair of earrings for the mother of the bride, like so. But yes, I recommend doing E6000. And I don't have any available at the moment where I'd show you some things that I created. Yes, well, let me show you with these. These are Deb from Deb's shop, and I added those onto the back, and I made some fun little earrings. Perfect for a little girl. So, and Deb has these also in various colors. Absolutely wonderful. So that's a little fun thought. And this beautiful piece here, I jumped the gun, I went to the wrong page. Okay, this is a high heel embellishment that Deb has in the shop, and I believe she has a couple of them. Uh, great to use on a project. This makes me think of my mother. She has a ring with these same type of stones in it. So, I love high heels. Can't walk in them, but I love them. <laughs> All right. Now, moving on. Uh, see, I shared with you the way. Okay. This Ivory Dragonfly Lace. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And this one is new in the shop. So beautiful. It's a cotton. So you could dye this if you did not want it in the white. Or the ivory. I'm sorry. I said white. Uh, next, I want to share with you this teardrop dangle lace. This one has been in the shop for some time now. And I'm going to do a project with this and this. So be on the lookout for it. So we're just going to slide these over a sec because we don't want to... Uh, I don't want to spoil that little surprise that I'm going to do. All right. Next, we have these beautiful lace swirls and bow trim. And this is it right here. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And there's pearls all down each swirl. And they're sort of, they're like, the best way I can describe it is they are riveted on. So you don't have to worry about your pearl coming off. So that's on there really good with a nice little metal piece right there. And I'm sure if you wanted to remove them, there wouldn't be no complication. You could just take a pair of wire cutters and snip them right off if you wanted to. But why would you want to? You know? Very pretty. Alrighty. Next, we have these beautiful butterfly appliques, and they are a cotton, and they come in an ivory color, and you could dye those simply, any color you want, or spray them, or spritz them. Uh, they are so soft, and they've got a lot of texture or depth to them, and I just, when I seen them, I thought, oh my god, those are absolutely beautiful. Uh, they are very pretty, very pretty. Lots of cool things you could do with those. All right, next is this Toffee Gimp Trim. Now, I love Gimp Trim. It's like my all-time favorite. It's great. They're, you know, it's just awesome to finish up a project with. Uh, I had made a banner, and I used this to go around the edge of each panel. And it just gave it a beautiful finished look. And, um... I just love this stuff. But Deb also, I was really excited now that she carries this in the shop. Um, this is the toffee, and she has it in a few other colors. So, yeah. If you're a fan of gimp trim, there you go. I just think the stuff's awesome. <clears throat> Next is, uh, let me find them here. There they are. The baby pink tassels. These little tassels are the cutest thing. They come in a set of four. Boom, boom, boom. There they are. Aren't they precious? Now, if you make invitations or cards, I think these are cute to tie on at the top and then add a little charm on. Uh, you know, if you're into making, you know, paper crafts, 
cards and I do a lot of wedding invitations so yeah and these come Deb has a few variety of colors of these as well and again they come in a set of four and these came in this type of packaging that Deb carries or that she ships with and I wanted to share this because what I love about these little bags now I don't have one uh, but if you have the pegboard in your um, craft room studio um, you know her packaging is great to just hang up so then that way you can see everything so that's how Deb's uh, a lot of her stuff comes are in these uh, types of packaging and a lot of her charms and embellishments comes in these fun little bags that you can save and reuse for things as well so yeah a lot of two for ones and things like that I think with a lot of her stuff now this piece here oh my god I just absolutely love it it is a two-tone golden tan white embroidered lace the picture you know it's beautiful in the shop but let me tell you something this is absolutely stunning this is beautiful for any type of wedding affair whatever you're doing uh, what I think this would be absolutely beautiful for is if you are a person who sews let me move these little these little teeny tiny cuties out of the way if you sew uh, these would be absolutely beautiful on pillowcases you know at the end to jazz them up uh, bath towels uh, for someone's bathroom uh, I know in my bathroom I have an area of bath towels hanging there just for looks and then of course I have my area where you dry but uh, I mean, what a beautiful wedding gift and an inexpensive gift that you could do bridal shower gift uh, you know just sew these on uh, the end of a beautiful set of satin pillowcases or a beautiful set of bath towels and you know I just think that would be awesome so it's a nice wide lace as you can see let me get you a measurement here uh, right close to five inches once you count in the scallop so I mean, what a beautiful trim on something like that so yeah this is stunning hurry over and get you some before I buy it off because I'm in love yes I am I'm in love with it alright folks well those are my gone artsy yummies and goodies and scrumpty delumptious stuff that uh, I'm displaying and sharing with you all this fine beautiful April spring month and uh, hurry over because Deb does have some things I believe on sale and check out all the new goodies and yummies that's in the shop and uh, a big shout out to all those with their wonderful kind words uh, while I was in the hospital and going through my little um, you know life changing moment I guess uh, but anyways enough of that stay tuned and uh, be sure to check out the um, on air YouTube classes that uh, our uh, our DTs are doing and um, they will be posted on the Gone Artsy page to let you know when they're up and in the meantime, I want to wish everyone a beautiful, happy spring day to those that's moving on into spring. And keep smiling, keep shining, as the song goes, and happy crafting. And until next time, everyone, have a beautiful day. Take care. Lots of loves and hugs. Till next time, bye-bye.